Okay, so I got your arms. Yep. Or idler Up. and motor linkage. Okay, this motor goes to the rear. Motor goes in the back. Yep. All right. The idler goes to the front. Okay, uh, the idler goes on the second set of holes. Okay. All right. Okay, so what we got to do is we got to get this clips. I mean, install them from the bottom side over here. Okay. Okay. So this one's gonna mount right here. Yes. So you got to crawl underneath here and mount them. They've got little uh, cutouts, little slots. Pro tip. Leave your linkages loose so that after the board is installed, we can adjust it. On certain vehicles, instead of using the clip nut that we've used, we'll use a rib nut. And it's important to make sure that this rib nut gets compressed or crushed all the way so that you don't run into problems with your installation later on. So what we're going to do, on the back side, you got this little blocks right over here. They go right into this hole that's right over here. Oh, they slide Same back. Shape. So that's how you adjust the board yes. for where you want it. Yes. So okay. What we're going to do is just kind of line it up and put it into place. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by putting a screw in there and just kind of setting it into place. And I'll just hand tighten. Now that we've got the board installed onto the links, what we're going to do is check to see if we do have a free fall. It falls down freely. It doesn't bind up. Once that, once that uh, happens that you see that, then you go back in and you could tighten up your linkages. Okay, so it's bouncing around now because we left everything loose. Yes. But nothing is pinching, everything, so that means it's square. Right, it's not binding or, or anything like that. That looks nice though. I mean, that's gonna be really cool when we get it all done because it really disappears. Mm hmm That's excellent. Yep, so now what we're gonna do is let's tighten it up. And we could just uh, tighten this up uh, a little at a time and just kind of keep checking it. Make sure that it doesn't, uh, get bound or anything like that. So I think that's the definition of smooth, clean operation. For a safety tip, make sure you remove the fuse from the harness before you start installing the wiring. Okay, Jose, I got the wiring harness for you. All right, thank you. All right, but on the wiring harness, we've got uh, several lengths. We've got a longer one and a shorter one. Rule of thumb is the shorter one always goes on the side of the battery. Okay. Okay, so that would go in this side right over here. Yep. And this just goes right above that way right there. <clears throat> That's a short end right there, okay. The longer end will go across the engine bay so that it'll go down through the fenders on, on the inner fenders. Got that like that? Right. All right. So the next step is to get the controller. Okay, we've got the, the controller over here. Okay. So where's that go? That's going to go right over here in this area. Find yourself a good area where you could mount it out of the way. Tight place right there. And we're going to get the wiring loom and just tie that down. What I'm looking for now is the short end of the wiring, which we're going to run down on the fender wells. And you just try to find a good area where you can just run all your wiring down on both sides. Okay, uh, we're going to start hooking up the wiring onto the battery. Uh, what I personally do is I uh, like to get the uh, my wire cutters and I cut an area out like that right there on both the wires. That way when you install it onto your battery you don't have to take your nut off of uh, your cables all the way out.
reach underneath the, your wheel wells where your wires came through and pull your wiring through. And usually it's pretty easy just going from the outside and just pull all the wires that you need coming through. Okay, after we've run this uh, wiring down the firewall, what we're doing is going to bring it back over here and just lay them right over here. This purple wires that we've got hanging right over here is going to go from the bottom of the floor floorboard. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take off the seal plate, which is up inside. Oh, so the purple ones are going to go back inside the cab. Correct, correct. And that's going to go to the door controls. Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, we've got the wires that go up in there. So what we got to do next is take off the, the seal plate over here and then the kick panel. And find some way of getting these wires yes, inside there, the truck. There's a rubber grommet that goes down in there, so you could just run it through the rubber, All right. uh, rubber grommet. And so this one is obviously going to go to the motors and the light. Correct. And we won't worry about tying those down until we've got all the wiring already uh, wired up and everything like that. Okay. Okay. So these, we have to find the grommet that these go through. Correct. But first, we've got to take off the door seal plate and ah. also the kick panel. Well, let's do that. Okay. What are you doing, Jeff? So this is the sill plate and this is the kick panel? Yes, yes. On this particular uh, model of truck, uh, the only thing that we've got to take off is a sill plate on the passenger side. So this has to come off? Yes. How does, does. that happen? Uh, first thing I need you to do is get out of my way. <laughs> do it. <laughs> and what you do is just lift up the edge right over here and just pick it up like so, and it should come right off. Just move that off to the side where it's out of the way, and then uh, uh, the wine that we got to get to will be right over here. But first, what we got to do is remove any floor mats that are in there. And then what I like to do is I like to kind of pick up this carpet right over here and look for a grommet and pull the grommet off, and you can run your wiring from the bottom up through this hole right over here. Okay, so what we'll do is, if you want to, want to run those two wires up into that uh, grommet hole. Perfect, and just pull that wire through the wires. Jose, according to the instructions, you need a pink wire with a light blue stripe. Correct. And then for the front door, you need a gray with a red stripe. Correct. So what you do is look up in here into your wire bundle, and if you see it, it's uh, split up and uh, some of it goes underneath the seat, so that's going to signify whether it's the front and rear. So on that instruction, okay. it says... Okay, so the instruction guy says rear of truck, front of truck. Correct. Okay, we found uh, the pink wire with the blue stripe that goes to the rear, and uh, we're going to put this, uh, this connector right over here. So this lets you connect to the wire without actually cutting and splicing correct. and soldering and wrapping. That is correct. Well, that's clever. So what you do is just unscrew it, and it's got a little groove right in there. And what you do is you get that groove, put it through the wire that, uh, that it calls for, put it in like this. This other piece right over here has got a little pokey piece right over here. Pokey piece. Is pokey that the piece. official? Yeah, it's like Pokemon, but it's pokey piece. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, that's obviously going to splice into the wire. And Correct. You tighten it up onto, right over here, it screws into itself right here. And you tighten it up, and bingo, you're uh, spliced in right there. On this particular model of uh, a truck uh, in installation, uh, uh, it's got two purple wires with black stripes, so it, it doesn't make a difference which wire that you grab to use. Um, so one of these is designed for the back door, one of them is for the front door. That is correct. And on this application, you don't care which is which. Correct. Okay. Correct. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure up to it about right there, okay? And what I'll do is I'll go ahead and cut it because it comes with uh, the wires that are really long. Plenty of wire. Plenty of wire. And then what I do is I just... Uh, I'm going to get my crimpers right over here and put those right there like that. And what I do is I just loosen this up, put this cap right over here through this right here, which goes through this right here. And you tighten it up. As you're tightening it up, it tightens the wire and everything like that. And then we're done with that right there. All right. Okay. So now we're going to do the front one. And the front one calls for a gray wire with a red stripe. Yes. We're going to do the same with this connectors. Put it in and screw it right back into there so it'll pinch in between there and pokes the wire. So then what we're going to do is get the other wire, measure it out a little bit, 
cut it. Okay, so we're going to go with this right here and start tightening that baby up. And we're done right there. Jose, on this side, you actually need to take the whole door panel off? Yes, I do. On the driver's side, uh, on this Ford application, does recall or does call for you to take off the door panel. So is that hard to do? No, it's not, it's not really hard. A lot of people get intimidated. First thing I do is I usually roll the windows down all the way. It makes it easier to get your door panel off. Okay. Um, I like to put tape down in areas where you, you know, where you think that you're going to uh, scratch the paint. You know, if you're going to be using a screwdriver. I For use, sure. I use a bone. It's a nylon uh, stick. And it keeps oh, so it when you pry the door panel off, you're not worried about, use, if you use a screwdriver, you're going to scratch paint. Correct. Correct. So either tape or a nylon or yep. both. Right, or both. So what I do first is I'm going to pry this right over here up, pull this out, and I'm going to disconnect these wires over here. And you just push down on these clips right over here. And they only go back on in one way because they're just the way they're just built. They're, you can't screw them up. Okay, just like that. Just put that out of the way. Then what I like to do is I come down over here where there's a light and it's also a reflector and you pop that off right there. A screw in here and I just take that screw off put that off to the side and that's uh, that's all that you really need to do on that right there then uh, I go over here to the front and I just pop this out right over here it's got the clips right over here to go right in here just pop that right out Okay, this whole door panel's got to come out, so usually what I do is I get my bone and I'll stick it in on a corner somewhere. Sometimes you just got to pull it really hard. Don't be afraid of, uh, of it at all. And then you just lift up on it, but uh, on some applications, you do have a screw right here, which <laughs> I, I just about missed. You forgot. And I suppose we could say that if you weren't filming this, you'd probably have the door open a little easier. Right. So that pops right out. Oh, okay. Comes well, that out came like out that. pretty easily. It does. Okay, on this application, you don't have to take the speaker out. You just pull, pull back this piece right over here, and you'll see the wire right over here. So you'll have to look for the right color wire that uh, it'll so specify. So it's the same as on the passenger side, we've got to find the right color. Correct. But before we do that, what we're going to do is, uh, since we took the door panel off, now we could take off the door seal plate and the kick panel. The next step is uh, to take off the seal plate on this uh, driver's side. Just pull back on it and pull it out. Like so. I'll add that to you. And then you take off the kick panel that usually has a little piece right over here and uh usually, why is that coming off on this side uh because you got to get to the wiring right over here also okay okay right over here is where you got that uh piece that goes underneath the seat it'll tell you which wire to go to from there so now you can get the wires into the door Correct, but what you need to do is you got on your kit, you've got a tube. Ah, I was wondering what that was for. That, yeah, that tube, what you do is you go in from... It's so you can thread the wires through. Thread your wires right through this uh, wire bundle right over here. What I like to do is uh, there's a, a rubber piece that goes from the door to the kick panel. Uh, what I like to do is I like to just pull that off so that you can run your wiring through through there and I just pull this through right over here like on the passenger side what I do is I pull this carpet up and I grab the grommet and I go underneath the vehicle and run the wires through like so and then I just get the grommet and put it back into place so it'll seal it 
and we've got the wires running through right there. Now's a good time to just put the carpet back down like so. Okay, next step is I'm gonna run one of the purple wires into the door. There's a hole that'll come right out over here to the outside area. So what you're gonna do is get a wire, one of the wires. So you fed that plastic tube through there? Yes, I did. Okay. I did. There's a hole back in, it's a little tight, but you can find it. And just run your wire, your trigger wire into the door panel. But what I'm doing is I'm running it through this plastic piece right over here, this tubing, so that it'll come out through here and it came out through there, okay? So since I did that, I can pull that tubing out. Then I'm gonna run this wire in through this uh, rubber piece right over here. I fed this uh, tube through this rubber pieces that goes from the door to the uh, body of the truck. And I'm gonna run the wire through that just as well. And I pull it through like so. And I pull that tube back through and discard of it. Now this end of this purple wire will go into the door panel up in here, into the door. And usually I just feed it in, take up this piece right over here and put my hand in through there and I grab it. And I pull it a little tight, make sure it goes through. Run it through just like so. Leave a little bit of slack over here to tie it down to this area. Now with this membrane pulled back, what I do is I get the wire and I kind of wrap it around it, keep it in place. And I bring it back to the trigger wire that goes up to the back latch because there was two of the same color wires. So what I'll do is I'll look for that wire over here. It'll be a yellow wire with with the back black stripe and put that through like we previously did on the other side. So it doesn't really matter where in the door you tap into that no, wire? No, not at all. As as, once you've identified the proper one, you can tap in anywhere at all. Correct, correct. So it would say here, driver's side for the back, it is a light green with a yellow stripe. Light green with a yellow stripe, I found it. So we are what, about two thirds of the way done? Yep, we're two thirds of the way done. I mean, we just did the hardest part, which is the wiring, you know. Just well, it's but easily the most confusing part. It, it gets very confusing, but if you just take your time, you'll go through it. You, know. you done with your lunch? I am done. Let's get back to work. Thank you. Push board up a little bit. Okay. Just like that, and I'm going to line up this bolts. Okay. So that's, I'm just pushing this up so that you get the motor lined up? Yeah, it'll engage into, the, into the gear. Right. And then you just put your bolts and uh, But it doesn't start matter tying. that the board is now halfway up? No, because once you put your electrical uh, connection on here, and open the door, it'll automatically reset itself. Oh, okay. So you, you don't care at this point where this board is? No, not at all. As long as you get that motor nice and tight. Correct. I'm gonna put them level with this piece right over here, pretty close to level, and just put it in place like that. Okay, next step is uh, install the wiring on the lights, which is usually this white one's right over here, and. There's only one way that they could go on and lock them into place. You'll hear, you'll hear it click. Then the next step is to get the remaining wire right over here. That goes into the motor. Install it into the motor. And we're done right there. Okay. Right. Next thing is uh, I like to uh, tie this wire back up into the body uh, with some uh, tiebacks, wire tiebacks. So, we're all wired? Yes. You've got the loom all tightened to the body? Yes. So this is done? Yep. But... Duh. We've got to put a fuse in. We, did, we didn't put the fuse in. Correct.
So they retracted? Yes. Everything's working? Yep. Test? Test it. Oh, sweet. Back door? So what's left to do? Uh, now we got to finish the other side. Right. We're going to do the same procedure on the other side that we did on this side. Right. After we're done with that, we'll drop the truck down off the lift. Right. And then we'll uh, finish connecting the rest of the wire and loom onto. We got to tighten the wires up tight. under the hood. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And make sure that everything is nice and tight. Uh, then make sure that the boards on that side are working. So, so we can put the door panels back on. To avoid making everybody repeat the process, we're going to stop the video, though. Correct. You're just going to install the other side. Yep. So we're done. Yes, sir. Jose, thank you very much. You're most I really welcome. appreciate learning about how these work. We've had these out for a while now, and I've never really completely understood the, all of the elements of them, to be honest. Right. And it's actually easier than what it looks. It, you know, it is. It's a little intimidating. The, uh, the wiring on the door side especially was a little overwhelming for me. Um, but watching you do that as smoothly and as simply as you did it, actually, yeah, I think I could handle this. I think I could actually even maybe even install this myself. Yeah, I don't see why not. Well, I think the biggest reason why not is that you're here. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're more welcome.